Thank you. Thank you, Excellency. You may all have your seats. Thank you. Thank you. Allow me to take this opportunity to thank um, uh, our president. What a man that God has given us to. <laughs> to lead this nation and to be a father. And we want to assure you, this family loves you. And this family prays for you. And you have no choice but to succeed. <laughs> because, because of the tears of the saints in this house. And thank you so much for also being part of this uh, family. I was reminding my president his partnership number. Did, did you know that my president is a partner? Oh, yeah, this is a partner's day. That's why he is here. He's a partner with his family. Excellence, Mrs. Rosa. We are so, we love you. We love you and the children. You are a blessing. It is our responsibility as a church to stand in the gap and pray for you because that's what God commands us to do. We, I want to just say something, then we uh, invite Mrs. Mehu to come over. And um, today we have a little gift uh, for our partner. I don't want to mention his partnership number. <laughs> our president and our first lady, our mother. So we have uh, something that we want to present to, to our president especially in a time such as this. Tell your neighbor, a time such as this. Thank you, ma'am. Uh, I believe the security have our gift, <laughs> which they had put somewhere safe. Yes, here it comes. And as it comes, I'm going to invite the artist, Mr. Kenodi Amaigua, and my husband, Mr. Gary Mahihu, to come and help me present this gift to His Excellency. I think it can come up on platform. Yes, please. Thank you. Mr. Kenodia. Yes. We can turn it around so His Excellency can see what we're giving him in this season. There you go. This is the gift of the season. I think you two can come and take over from there. That's the artist, Mr. Kenodia. Maigua and that's Mr. Gare, they can hold it right there. Amen. Thank you. Your Excellency, in this season, and on behalf of our mom, because her gifts to you are always prophetic. So this is the gift of the season to you, Your Excellency. It is a cheetah. And Your Excellency, we wish to present you with this painting and to share with you the admirable leadership qualities of a cheetah that we see in you. Number one, strategic. A cheetah has the ability to plan and calculate very carefully before it makes a move, and hence the reason it is a good hunter. May the Lord continue to give you Solomonic wisdom. <laughs> to lay out the plans and policies for our nation in accordance with the will of God. Secondly, solution-oriented. A cheetah always moves towards a target and towards a solution. May the Lord continue to guide you as a visionary leader who sees far and wide and who addresses practical problems with solid solutions. The third quality, solitary nature. A cheetah often retreats from the others in order to harness its skills and to replenish. May the Lord show you the seasons when you need to separate yourself away from the crowd and the noise to reflect and to hear God for yourself. As he, as he continues to give you divine directions and instructions on how to lead us. The next quality is unique stature. A cheetah is not necessarily very big in size, nor very strong physically. So it can easily be underestimated. May the Lord continue to hide you in him. Because it is not for your strength and might that he chose you. But because of his might and his strength that works through you. The other quality is adaptability. A cheetah is highly adaptable 
to a wide range of environments and surroundings. May the Lord empower and equip you to survive and thrive under any circumstance and to master and command every season in our nation. The sixth quality is speedy. Chita is known for great speed and energy. May the Lord continue to accelerate the growth of our nation, especially the economic growth, and to guide you as regards his timing on every project and every vision. The seventh quality, discernment. A cheetah has a very strong sense of smell, symbolizing a sharp sense of discernment. May the Lord continuously give you a sharp ability to discern the mood of your people and to discern the political, economic, and social climate in every season and to respond in accordance with God's divine guidance. Our prayer for you, Your Excellency, we pray that you will continue to inquire of the Lord on every issue regarding our nation. May the Lord continuously reveal to you and order your footsteps to the wise counselors he has prepared for you in each season so that your leadership may continue to align with the plan and purpose God has for Kenya. Your Excellency, we present to you this gift. Karibu, you can come and receive it. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. The cheetah. Thank you. Amen. Thank you. Yes, he is. Thank you. You may have your seats. You may have your seats. I thank you so much, um, uh, the governors. We have uh, a governor, Anne Weguru. Excellency, let me tell you something. Our governor, Anne Weguru, he grew up in the youth ministry in FEM, the governor here. <laughs> And, and she was a very prayerful girl, very prayerful. I remember uh, uh, she was in the university at the time with Ambrose and Pastor Bob Asumbo, and they used to have a very, very big, huge team, and they were moving and shaking the city of Nairobi to win the souls of the young people to Jesus Christ. Thank you, Governor Anwai Guru, for what you did for Jesus. Your lovely husband, Mr. Waiganjo, has been the lawyer, actually, with Mrs. Mahi, Mrs. Mahi, who on our side, uh, and uh, in the negotiation of this land, Mr. Waiganjo was on the other side of the other client where we have gotten the land. <laughs> so we were sorted out. Thank you very much. I'm sure the governor was also praying. We have... Uh, a beautiful girl right there. You know, she's my daughter. You know, um, before I introduce her, Mr. Mburu, I have two sons, one called Bob and another one called Mburu. That is the other son. And I don't know who is older than the other one. Susan, uh, Governor Susan from the Kuru, would you stand? We thank God for you. Beautiful woman of God. We are so glad grateful to God. You may have your seat. We're so grateful to God to have leadership that honors and fears God. So we thank God for every one of you. We pray for you. And the others, I might not see every one of you or mention every one of you. And Senator Veronica Maina, you know. Yeah. <laughs> In the house. Honorable Mudama. You know, these are people, members of this church, you know. <laughs> And another honorable Mwadamba, is that Nakuru, Namu, uh, I don't know, East, West. Or, yes, we thank God so much for you. Thank you, Fem family, and um, my covenant partners. You made this possible. Thank you. So thank you very much. So with this, I would want humbly to ask our president, my president, 
to just come and just say something from his heart. All right, welcome our president to the microphone. You can give him a better God bless you than that, somebody. Asante sana, ma'am. Good morning, church. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Ebu hivyo, asante sana. Please take your seats. Thank you very much, ma'am, for welcoming me to church this morning. Um, when I received a note of instructions from mom, and uh, in the note he said, 13th of August, you need to be in church. And I had to adjust all my programs to accommodate this particular date. And um, I must admit that uh, I didn't know the significance of this day, that time. But as I sat here and I listened to Raymond, and very many things were revealed to me. That number one, 13th is the day that I was sworn in as president of Kenya. And it's exactly one year today. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. And how better to celebrate the first year than in Fenn. <laughs> 